Hey guys, it's me, Jacob Norman, here with Phoenix Salon Education. Welcome back. Uh, welcome to the first episode of Dubious Advice for Hairdressers. Today, we're going to be talking about a post that I came across on Facebook. So this post that I found on Facebook comes from a young lady. She's been in the industry for a little bit. She's been doing hair for a little while. She's got long hair and it was the holiday season. You know, it was just December because they were in January. And she had to throw her hair up in a ponytail. She works at a corporate salon who has very strict guidelines, who has very strict rules about dress code. And she got reprimanded for throwing her hair up and not having her hair styled. The way that I look at it, and as you know, as you can see, I wear hats. If you know me, if you see my work, if you see my videos, if you're watching this video right now, you know that I wear hats and I love hats, especially Venus. Mainly because one, I'm trying to grow out my hair. Two, you know, my hair, if I style it, it doesn't last all day. And I know I'm a hairdresser, it should last. But here I am wearing a hat. And I always tell my clients when the one out of a hundred clients sits in my chair and says, oh, you're wearing a hat? What kind of hairdresser wears a hat? Or whenever one of the hundred, one out of a hundred clients sits down and says, are you bald under there? Because that's happened. You know, I always give the smart ass remark of, you know, I'd much rather be concerned with your hair, the hair sitting in my chair, instead of being concerned with the hair that's on your head. Now, I understand it's a little bit different because I am a man. I do understand that, you know, there's different requirements for men and women. Not saying it's fair, not saying it's right, but I understand that that's just where we live right now. That's just the world that we live in. Um, but I also don't agree that every hairstylist should come in with their hair curled and styled and fresh and deep conditioned and shampooed and she should come in with contour and a bunch of makeup. No, I think you should come in being your true authentic self, whatever that means. If that means that your hair is straight when it's down, if that means that your hair is up in a beanie with a little bit of curls at the end, boom, let that be it. If your true authentic self is, you know, hair in a ponytail with a little bit of curls and a little bit of makeup, wear that. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying going to work, hungover, shit-faced, looking like a mess. Just look presentable. And there's a big difference between throwing your hair in a ponytail, putting your hair in a hat, and, you know, looking like a mess. So if you come into work and you look clean, you look fresh, and you look authentic, I think that is the main concern that we should be worried about these days. Not necessarily is her hair done? Is her makeup done? Is she wearing X, Y, and Z? I think it should be, is she being authentic to herself? Because at the end of the day, you know, the client's not coming to you because you look good. They're not coming to you because you smell good. And they're not coming to you because you're nice. I know for a fact, my clients don't come to me because I look good, because look at this. My clients don't come to me because I smell good, because sometimes I forget deodorant. And my clients don't come to me because I'm nice, because sometimes you have to be a little rude. My clients come to me because I provide a great service, in my opinion. I do a thorough consultation, and I give them what they want. And that client ended up in your chair. She either, she or he, came from a referral. She or he came because they saw my work on Instagram, or they've had my work done to them. They're not going to come in after seeing you and say, holy crap, Jacob's wearing a beanie. He never wears a beanie. He must have forgotten how to do hair. They're not going to come in and be like, wow, I love this picture that I found on Instagram that you did. Oh, wait, your hair's up in a ponytail? Oh, can you even do that? They're not going to. They're going to sit in your chair and they're going to say, oh, he's just having a bad hair day or oh, he just likes hats and that's all. If you work for a place and you don't necessarily agree with their dress code or you don't agree with their policies, you got two choices. Quit, get the fuck out of there. Or, you know, sit down with your manager and elaborate on the dress code. Sit down and be like, look, like my true authentic self, the reason that my clients are coming to me is because, you know, I am authentically me and I want them to be authentically them. And my authentic self is hair in a ponytail with some curls. Or my authentic self is hair straight and down and flat. Or my authentic self is all out and I've styled my hair and I look amazing. That is 1000% up to you. 
This is the beauty industry, and we are all beautiful in different ways. At the end of the day, you know, who cares what you look like? Just make sure that your clients are happy. Make sure that your clients look good and have fucking ponytail hair. Have your hair in a bun. Have your hair in a fucking hat. Who cares? Make your clients look good. Make your clients feel good. Listen to your clients. Provide excellent service. And you'll be fine. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I was educational. I hope I helped. A uh, couple things for you. One, uh, if you could leave me some questions or links to Facebook pages or anything that you may be having a gripe with in your salon or anything with clients, I'd love to talk about it. Uh, I'll be back here next week, next Friday, 12 noon, Central Standard Time. Um, another thing, I'm starting a podcast, uh, and I'm looking for questions and what I want from you guys in the comment section or send me a message. Tell me, one, who's your favorite hairdresser, like, either in your life, or who's your favorite hairdresser that is popular on social media, and if you could ask them one question, what would it be? Uh, if you guys can leave that stuff in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and check out all the information below. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next week. Don't forget next Wednesday is another educational video. And next Friday is another one of these.